Well, the, the first time I met Nick, actually, I remember this well. I don't know why, because it was just kind of a weird setting to meet somebody. Um, so I was already downstairs ready to train. And then they called me upstairs like, no, you're going to throw down. I'm like, all right, I already have my training gear on. And I'm standing in front of a big giant cage with a big gold lion in it. And in the middle of the MGM like lobby. And then like the whole like Caesar Gracie camp comes up to me. And I was just, I don't get like starstruck by people often. I've met a lot of like people. Okay, like I met Oprah and I was like, what up, Oprah? Like, I didn't have a problem with Oprah, okay? But when they, when everybody from, you know, the Caesar Gracie camp walked up, I was just kind of like, oh my god, it's Nick and Nate Diaz! It was cool. I'm like, I'm still having my fangirl moments because I think people forget how new a lot of this is to me and how long I was a fan before all of this. When I first met Nick, my initial um, impression was just he seemed really shy and quiet. And, um, but super nice and respectful and cool and you know it was funny like we, we trained that day we barely said like five sentences to me you know of course and uh, it was, you know that didn't involve you know fighting and technical stuff so I was just like oh yeah this is pretty much exactly the same you know Nick is you know without the middle fingers and she didn't walk in you know telling everybody to fuck off but I was like okay that's kind of similar to what everyone led me to expect she's great yeah she uh you know I think she's the uh... I think she's uh, you know, best MMA, women's MMA fighter you got you got out there right now. Especially on a uh, technical level, that's for sure. And, uh, yeah, let's uh, have a workout and see how it goes. I've been around for like close to 14 years maybe. I really did judo together. You know, yeah, she was always a hard worker. I know, I knew it from the get-go. I should be someone, you know, I was told you can't fight. You get too much of a pretty face, don't fight. Don't get broken nose, don't get broken nothing. So, you know, she put me wrong. She's fighting now and she's doing really good. And she means a lot to me, man. She's like a you know, little sister to me. And how cool is Nick? Nick's are, um, they're, they're always cool, man. They're always cool. Never have a problem with Nick or Nate. So, you know, people talk shit about, you know, you know don't know, it depends, you know, us and the finale and that. But I always said, it's not his fault, it's my fault. And, you know, I got hurt. So, you know, that's all matters. So, you know, I'm cool with everyone, you know, Nick's a legit cool guy. You know, like, to the champ, champ for reason. It turned out being such a huge YouTube thing. Like everyone was so into it. Like we released three videos from one workout, and all of them were like closing up on two hundred thousand views. So, and I you know um, that was the first experience that I had with you guys. Is you helped me out, you know, a lot press wise without you know um, even knowing me at all and needing to help me at all. So you know, I already knew you guys were cool just for looking out like that the first time. It's kind of a weird trip. I mean, if you think about it, I'm a ballsy ass bitch because I'm going up to some camp with a bunch of people that I've never met before with some people that I don't really know that well. So <laughs> when Lazy and Jessica first showed up, my first mission was, all right, let's make sure they're not serial killers. Then when we left for the road trip in the morning, which was early in the morning, we didn't actually leave to stop until way later because we had a bunch of stops to make. First we stopped to throw down. It's, is it red? Is it? Okay. Here we go. Wait, I gotta put that on. <laughs> yes, put it on. How? I don't even know. Was, we're putting on a new throwdown here. I want to see how you look in the element, you know? Because I just want to know that. It works. Do I look super butch when I'm all dressed up, okay. or is it just okay, like ready? every girl this looks is super high. butch? Before. Before? Okay. Nice. Wait, how does this go? Is this for. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> That's so funny. You look like the Ronald McDonald version of like the Black Knight. It's like the padded like version. It, it looks like a lance or something. Oh, Not a lance. What's the thing called? The helmet for the medieval people? The helmet for medieval people. <laughs> Let me see it. I think I can get the glasses to go on it. Hold on a second. Oh. Uh, Ah, uh, no, nope. don't want to do it. <laughs> don't break those ones. ones. I can just shove in there, you know? Now that I finally have, like, the nice glasses, I can't, like, do any stuff with it. Cool. You got a lot of stuff. Throw down! We, like, hooked us up with um, a lot of the sponsoring for this trip. So they gave us a bunch of equipment to train in, and um, we went and hung out at the, the factory for a little bit. They're cool there, and the art room and all that. So, you know, of course, we got distracted in the way that we're like, look, shiny thing. So um, <laughs> then we were there for a few hours, probably. We were all just be there for a few minutes. And um, which probably, I remember it, it involved uh, impromptu changing in the parking lot. 
uh, <laughs> with a bunch of bags flying out of the car, taking my shirt off, changing shirts, being like, get out of here, let's go, we're like, so then, um, yeah, me and Jessica are screaming at each other and half naked rolling down the road going from, you know, throw down over to Neocell because we're in a rush and changing clothes and freaking out and running like, then we went over to Neocell and, uh, Neocell, yeah. It is harder to be a recovery product, yeah, so you're not going to see, like, weight loss, it's not going to, like, insta-shred you or anything like that. Okay. It's just a recovery. You're not really going to see a difference, but you will feel some comfort, you know, some differences in your comfort and just your, you know, overall well-being in your body. But, um, you get the most out of it when you work out. Well, I'm excited to try it. Thanks again, Neo Cell, for hooking us up. So, we got Rhonda right now, about to eat a handful of... Parsley for the first time. <laughs> As per the newest requirement of my new phase in my diet. Oh man, Chad. Chad Waterbury, I think. I have a theory that I don't even need to eat this. This is just something that he's doing just as like a exercise of trust to make sure that I'll just do anything that he tells me to do in my diet. And then next he's just gonna have me eat an indiscriminate number of bunny poop balls. You know, just to see if I'll do it, just to fuck with me. I think that's gonna. God, a lot of trust involved in this business. So right. Is this see? a square handful? You said the green part. Dude, that looks <laughs> so not good. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's not yummy. Okay, no problem. Sorry about that. Oh, no, you're recording this? Yeah. <laughs> um, so this is going to be for speeding. Oh. Like I said, I got you on radar doing just over 85. 